These are just some of the local favorites you're going to find at the Bank Building, 629 J Street. If you've been watching this morning wondering where I'm at, 629 J Street, and you have to check it out. This place is absolutely beautiful. The old bank building. Juliet, great to have you with me this morning to talk a little bit about the concept in here. It's really come together. It is absolutely beautiful. You guys have been a little bit secretive about this on purpose. Yes. So now's our chance for the big reveal. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about the history here in this building. Well, the building was built in 1912. It is home, or was originally home to one of the oldest banks. Uh, the second oldest bank west of the Mississippi. And it, it stood on this corner. It's just such an amazing building. You can't miss it. You know, the, the pillars from the outside, the architecture, the ceiling, it's, it's something that, you know, the owners just really wanted to share with the city. So this is what we did. We turned it into a food hall and multiple bar concepts. We have a tap room, eight kitchens featuring lots of local favorites in new places. And we have a mezzanine, which is just absolutely gorgeous. It gives you kind of that uh, Grand Central Station feel, like you're indoors, but you're on a patio. We have a craft bar. We have 60 to 65 bottled wines, 20 by the glass. So there's just something for everyone, which is what we were trying to do. And the vibe is just a little bit different in each area that you walk around in here. And the list of all the kitchens that will be coming soon are up on the wall. And of course, we can't forget to mention the cocktails and the bars. This is the main bar when you walk into the bank building van. This is such a cool concept. Uh, you guys have been waiting for this moment to unveil what you guys have been uh, crafting over here. Talk a little bit about this bar. Yeah, the main bar is more of a neighborhood concept. We wanted to uh, provide something that Sacramento is going to be very familiar with, but also kind of keep it to the elevated level that this building is. So with the main bar, we went ahead and did more kind of familiar cocktails, uh, more, I would say, um, more mainstream style stuff, but still elevated enough to, uh, you know, catch your eye and, and match the decor. Yeah, and you'll find a lot of flat screen TVs around here to catch the Kings games. Uh, beautiful decor that we've been talking about. And this isn't open until Wednesday. That's going to be your first chance to come in here after 4 o'clock and check it out. It's going to start, obviously, with a limited number of kitchens and bars open. They'll gradually keep increasing, and you'll start to see all of this fill up. Downstairs, the vault, the bar down there, we're going to take you down there next hour. And, of course, I showed you the mezzanine a little bit earlier. It is stunning, and there's another bar up there, not to mm. mention tons of Private event space. So as we approach the holidays, lots of areas here for you to uh, rent out and host uh, parties. It is really, I, I've actually never seen anything like it here in Sacramento. So it offers something very unique for everyone. And we're going to keep checking it out coming up next Did hour. you say they're open for lunch? I don't think she